many people have begun to behave strangely and now they are heading towards the homes of every believer child of god do not take this message lightly people are witnessing unusual behaviors in their surroundings and this is not something to ignore the sacred dimension the spiritual world is warning you and making you aware of some people who are approaching the homes of every believer but fear not the holy spirit has led you to this message today to guide you and protect you from the evil schemes that these people are plotting against you and your home so pay complete attention to this message until the very end before i start telling you what the holy spirit has spoken i would like to pray this our father in heaven may your name be revered may your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven provide us with our daily sustenance and forgive our debts as we forgive those indebted to us please guide us away from temptation and protect us from all evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our last breath amen come holy spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and ignite in them the fire of your divine love send forth your spirit to renew the face of the earth o god by the light of the holy spirit instruct us the heart of the faithful grant that by the same holy spirit we may be truly wise and always enjoy your consolations through christ our lord amen now this is what the holy spirit is speaking to every believer beloved children listen carefully and pay complete attention to this message until the very end in june 2024 there are three kinds of people you must not let into your home this is a crucial time and you must be vigilant here is what you need to know first of all beware of the deceivers in june 2024 This person appears friendly and trustworthy but is filled with lies and false teachings. They may try to manipulate you or lead you astray from the truth. Do you remember the words in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 14 to 15? It says, "And no wonder for Satan himself disguised as an angel of light beloved children it is not surprising then if his servants also disguise as servants of righteousness their end will be what their actions deserve the deceiver can be persuasive their lies may sound convincing to you but they are not in line with my word be cautious of anyone who tries to change your beliefs or speaks against the teachings of the bible keep your faith strong and rooted in the truth for i will give you the discernment to recognize these deceivers trust in me and stay grounded in the word of god Secondly, avoid the trouble maker. This person thrives on creating conflict 
and chaos. They stir up arguments and spread negativity. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 28 says, A perverse person stirs up conflict and a gossip separates close friends. Troublemakers bring division and discord wherever they go. Having a troublemaker in your home disrupts peace and harmony. They cause tension and create an atmosphere of stress and anxiety. This is why, beloved children, protect your home from such negativity in June 2024. Maintain a peaceful and loving environment where my presence can dwell. I will help you identify and keep away those who seek to bring turmoil into your life. And last but not the least, stay away from the spiritually dangerous people. This person is involved in practices that are against God's will. They engage in occult activities, witchcraft, or other forms of spiritual darkness. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11 warns, Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, rather expose them. Allowing someone who is spiritually dangerous into your home can open the door to negative spiritual influences. It can bring unease and invite spiritual attacks. So, beloved children, you need to protect your home by keeping it a place of worship and prayer, free from any form of spiritual darkness. Be of alert mind or you may regret later said the Holy Spirit. So this is what I received from the Holy Spirit and it is essential for each and every one of us to follow this commandment from the Holy Spirit in the days to come. Child of God, the Bible, our unchanging and eternal guide has already told us about the times we are living in. It spoke of a time when people would change, when society would shift, and when the world would start walking against the will of God. We are witnessing these changes right now. And it is a change for us to understand and respond to them with wisdom and faith. The Bible has many prophecies about the last days and we can see them unfolding before our very eyes. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 5 says, But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than the lovers of God having a form of godliness but denying its power. And we can look around dear friends. We see these very characteristics in our world today. Society is changing and many people are walking away from the principles of God's word. The world is increasingly celebrating things that are against God's will. We must recognize these changes and understand what they mean for us as believers. 
everywhere we look, there is a rise in behaviors and attitudes that the Bible warns us about. We see people becoming more self-centered, obsessed with wealth and status, and willing to do anything to get ahead. There is a growing disregard for family values and respect for elders. Love and compassion are being replaced by hatred and division. The media and entertainment industry promote lifestyles and values that are contrary to God's word. The culture of celebrity, this is a dangerous trend because it distracts us from focusing on God and His will for our lives. If you are wondering why the chaos is increasing day by day, then let me make it clear to you. It is all happening for the Antichrist preparation. This is the reason in the days to come. Don't try even mistakenly to let these people enter your home. Be of sober mind and keep an eye on your surroundings. Immerse yourself in the scriptures daily. Let God's word be your guide and foundation. Psalm chapter 119 verse 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. The more we know the Bible, the more we can discern truth from deception. So ask God for wisdom and understanding, because James chapter 1 verse 5 tells us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. In prayer, seek guidance on how to navigate these times. And if you find it difficult to discern the righteous, the truth from deception, then do join me in this powerful prayer right now. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with humble hearts, seeking your guidance and protection in these challenging times. Lord, we acknowledge that the changes we see in the world were foretold in your holy word. You have warned us of the last days and the behaviors and attitudes that would arise. We see these prophecies unfolding around us and we turn to you for wisdom and strength. Father, we recognize that society is moving further away from your will. People are becoming lovers of themselves, obsessed with wealth and indifferent to the needs of others. There is a growing disregard for family values and love and compassion are being overshadowed by hatred and division. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness for any way in which we have contributed to these changes. Cleanse us and renew our hearts so that we may be shining examples of your love and truth. Holy Spirit, guide us in our daily lives. Grant us the wisdom to make the godly choices and to protect our homes from harmful influences. Help us to set boundaries that honor you and keep our families safe. We ask for your presence to fill our homes, creating an atmosphere of peace, love and holiness. Let our homes be sanctuaries where your name is exalted above all else. Father, we lift up those around us who are being deceived by the enemy. We pray for their eyes to be opened and their hearts to be softened to the truth of gospel. Use us as instruments of your grace to reach out to them with love and compassion. Give us the courage to share your word boldly and the wisdom to speak truth in love. In these last days, know that the enemy is preparing for the rise of the Antichrist. We see his deception at work, grooming society to accept his rule. But we take heart, Lord, knowing that you have overcome the world. Help us to remain vigilant and be prepared 
for your return. Strengthen our faith and fill us with hope, knowing that your promises are true and that you are always with us. Lord, we pray for unity among believers. Help us to support and encourage one another, building each other up in love and faith. Let us be a light in this dark world, drawing others to you through our actions and our words. May we glorify your name in all that we do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.